Hello, I'm Joan Rivers. Subsequent to the completion of the tribute that you are about to view, I received notification from the law firm representing Ms. Heidi Abramowitz claiming slander, defamation of character, and gross untruths and inaccuracies regarding their client. In order to help avoid any further legal action, the management of Showtime, as well as my own counsel, have insisted that I read the following disclaimer. To whom it may concern. When the tribute to Heidi Abramowitz was filmed, the sole intent was to entertain and to honor Ms. Abramowitz. The producers and I sincerely regret several misunderstandings and portrayals that evidently caused her embarrassment, pain, and mental anguish. To wit, the following. One, when I suggested that Mr. Abramowitz was a tramp and her goal in life was to have sex with a parade, I did not specify the size of the parade, okay? I mean, there are parade parades and there are irregular parades, okay? I didn't mean the May Day parade. I didn't mean the Rose Bowl parade. I meant more like Macy's parade or, or, or a Shriners thing. Big, yes, but, but not unwieldy. Two. When I suggested that Heidi was a tramp and that her legs had been apart longer than Simon and Garfunkel, I was only generalizing. I am the first to admit there is confusion pinpointing the exact date that Simon and Garfunkel split. Some say it was 10 years ago. Others claim six, seven tops, okay? So I'm sorry, Heidi. I'm sorry, Art. And good move, Paul. Why split the bucks? You're the one with the talent. Three, four, and five. When I suggested that Heidi was a tramp and had been on more beds than cannon sheets, been tied up more times than Trigger, and had been on her knees more often than Al Jolson, I exaggerated. This afternoon I went to the L.A. Public Library and checked. Al Jolson has beaten Heidi by three times. I hereby publicly apologize to Ms. Abramowitz for the inconveniences I have allegedly caused. Evidently my inferring that she was a tramp resulted in her losing her permanent parking space at the free clinic, losing her summer job as a ride at Disneyland, and most importantly, losing the respect of the one thing she truly loved and longed to hold close to her, New Jersey. I understand that this is the first time Heidi's had such pain since her gynecologist used a second baseman's glove. So I'm sorry, Heidi. Publicly, I repeat, I am sorry I meant no harm Mr. Abramowitz. Okay? Satisfied now? Satisfied. Good. So am I. Fine. Thank you very much. Screw it! I don't care! She's a tramp, do you hear me? I don't care! Throw me in jail! This girl's a tramp! She's a tramp! I want the world to know! Crazy glue can't keep her knees together, okay? She uses sniff and scratch business cards! Her panty line is around her ankles! Her back, you let go of me, you son of a bitch! Her back has never been in the sun! Her IUD is listed as a Smithsonian! She's a tramp! Her diaphragm is an old bird bear! She's a tramp! She's a tramp! Smore me rings later her death and Iwo Jima! She's a tramp! Live from the entertainment capital of the world, London. London? Yeah, then where's Big Ben? I'm oh, sorry. Live from the entertainment capital of the world, Rome. It's a cowboy, not a gladiator. Schmuck. Oh. Live from the entertainment capital of the world, Moscow. Moscow is the fashion capital of the world. Who hired this dyke? Give me that piece of paper, Gertrude. I'll do my own introduction. And now, almost live from the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas. Joan Rivers and friends salute Heidi Abramowitz, tramp for the century! Heidi group rates for armed forces. Nice reading, Puts. Starring Joan Rivers. With guest stars, Bobby Barosini's orangutan. Dr. Joyce Brothers. Bert Convy. Robin Leach. Tony Randall. Charles Nelson Riley, Father Guido Sarducci, Gary Shandling, and the Solid Gold Dancers, with special appearances by Elizabeth Ashley, Irma Bombeck, David Brenner, Diane Carroll, Del Carter, Selma Diamond, Sandy Duncan, Elvira, Morgan Fairchild, Lauren Hutton, Alan King, Mayor Edward Koch, Chris Christopherson, Michelle Lee, Ali McGraw, Howie Mandel, Willie Nelson, Anthony Perkins, Vincent Price, Lynn Redgrave, Little Richard, Brooke Shields, Suzanne Summers, Joan Van Art,
Judge Joseph Wapner, Dr. Ruth Westheimer, and Betty White. Also featuring George Firth and Anthony Holland. Also appearing tonight are Heidi's college roommates, Heidi's husband of six days, and special appearances by celebrity lookalikes, a share lookalike, a Dolly Parton lookalike, and six, count them, six Elvis lookalikes. Sterling Whitney Vanderbilt as Elvis. Emmanuel Labor as Elvis. Chichi Lopez III as Elvis. Hanuel Schwanz as Elvis. Mighty Joe Inch as Elvis. And Mr. Milty Feinberg as Elvis. Tonight's tribute to Heidi Obramowitz is brought to you by Heidi's favorite products. Standard Coil of America, the only IUD that comes with a beeper. And by Web Slugger, the first name in industrial sheets. And by sheer, elegant, well-fitting, round-the-clock pantyhose. The only pantyhose that comes with a smoke alarm. Ten minutes, please. How do I look? Bad. Fat. The pits. Gross. Not good. Shitty. I mean, I'm here on the spot. Do you think it's easy for me to get Heidi to agree to go on the television after all the things I've said about her? But a tribute? Why not? She works hard. She deserves it. She has spent more time under men than bar stools. Hi ho, anybody home? Uh, Ron Grossman. Um, Showtime. Oh, vice president in charge of specials and office supplies. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to have you with us, and I understand that you look much better on camera. What a wonderful, wonderful idea it was of yours to do a tribute to Heidi Abramowitz. <laughs> oh, let me ask you something. Now, what do I call you? Uh, uh, Jonesy, uh, Jr., Mrs. Comedy. How about? Joan. Well, I like it. It's today. It's what's happening. <laughs> I'll tell you, if this show works, it's going to be the ninth floor for me. The ninth floor? You don't know what that means? Ah, that means no more having to share a secretary, no more having to pay for my parking space, no more having to kiss Diana Ross's ass. Did you see her special in Central Park? Yes. She blamed me for the rainstorm. Three minutes, Miss Rivers. Aren't you going to get made up? Hi. Ron Grossman, Showtime. Charming. Hello, Jenny Clary, London Television. We're here to do a totally unauthorized documentary on you for London. Oh, no. Joan Rivers, the woman, the legend, the myth. The myth? Yes. Would now be a good time to probe your insights on comedy vis-a-vis -vis death? Well, actually, it wouldn't be. I have a show to do. You know, we English took the brunt of it for you American pigs doing the war. OK, fine. <laughs> One question. Denny Cleary here for London Television. Now, Joan, I'm going to say a name, and you say the first thing that pops into your pretty little head. Fine. Boy George. Just what England needs, another queen who can't dress. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, provocative, tasteless. Tasteless? Places, Miss Rivers. Oh, my God. Oh, Joan, what's wrong? I can't remember which designer I've got to plug in order to keep this dress. Oh, ho, oh, ho. Joan Rivers, cheap in every sense. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our mistress of ceremonies, Miss Joan Rivers! Can we talk here? <laughs> Can you really believe that this is happening? A tribute to my dear friend Heidi Abramowitz. I mean, isn't that the most wonderful thing? Uh, yes, we should applaud. Absolutely. All my life I've seen tributes on television. They salute this director and that actor and this politician. Well, don't you think it's about time to salute the biggest tramp since Charlie Chaplin? <laughs> here tonight for a moment to think about it. Heidi Abramowitz, I think, has done more for her country than anyone else. She has entertained more troops than Hope. She has served more men than McDonald's. And more Marines have landed on her bed than on Iwo Jima. <laughs> and so, to all of you out there tonight, the women she's affected, the men she's infected, I think, 
I think it's time to introduce a woman who has brought joy to millions without ever leaving her bedroom. A woman who invented eight play, which is foreplay with two guys. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to present my old, dear, best friend, Miss Heidi Abramowitz.